So we changed the freedom and everything is working finally all together. Everything feels so much better now and we get friends, we're getting friends, we're, we have a better economy, uh, our happiness is, is in the positives. I mean, this is good and now we can go to war with nations that freedom, the, the freedom like team, I guess, the freedom side of the world doesn't like and I think we'll be okay. But ultimately, this is going to be the biggest backstabbing move ever uh, by President Putin, and that's what our plan is going to be, because right now, we're staying friendly with everybody. Everyone's like, oh, yeah, yeah, we got Russia on our side now, and everything's going to be fine, because we have the, you know, among the most powerful nations, uh, the USA and Russia with their huge militaries, they're all on our side, yay. Nope, that is not what's going to happen, but uh, for now, I need to get, I need to grow in strength. And if, if most of the world doesn't like the Middle East, then we need to take out the Middle East just to gang their strength or gang, yeah, gang some of these cities' strengths, gang some power, gang even more power, hopefully getting a port in the Indian Ocean, at least to be able to reach the Indian Ocean, because uh, I'm trying to get to India. And, uh, and, at, that, and at that point, we're just going to completely backstab uh, NATO. And that's, and that's the plan, is uh, grow from the nations and the cities here, and, uh, and then eventually backstab and just, boom, nuke the entire world and uh, have, every, have everything, everyone following uh, Russia. So that's, that's, that's what we're going to try to do here. Anyways, I did convert one more. I, I, I upgraded one more artillery to rocket artillery, so we'll see how that goes. And, uh, oh, we have an artillery unit that finished here. So now military academies are not, oh, I, didn't, I actually didn't even change that. Okay, well, we will probably do that now. Well, Moscow's only got two more turns. It's still something that's nice when we build units inside of Moscow, which we will a lot because it's got the best production in our entire empire. Um, yeah, I think I might I might as well do that. Spaceship factory. I mean, I'm looking for... I, I do want more happiness. But I don't think there's actually anything as of right now. Do, how many... I need a Circus Maximus. We still need a Colosseum somewhere. Oh, you know what? Let, before I forget that, we can build the Colosseum because they just finished their granary. So you build me the Colosseum in four turns. Perfect. Then we'll build the Circus Maximus, getting us, giving us a lot more happiness. Uh, you will stop the, the military academy. Moscow will continue, but this guy's going to need to stop. Yes. Yeah, you're going to need to stop. Maybe continue to build me military units, I'm thinking. 12 turns for an atomic bomb. I really like that. Uh, nuclear missile. Hmm. Do I want to take 20 turns? I mean, I'm thinking a jet bomber here. I still have three sources of, of oil. And if anything, as time goes by, I'm going to need less and less oil. Well, actually, no, that's not true, because most of my fleet is going to run off of, run off of battleships. But I think jet bombers are really, really useful. And uh, let's, let's, let's build some more jet bombers here. Okay, and then what else? Um, I think I want the same... Well, no, artillery in five turns. I like that. I'm, I'm already building at least one atomic bomb. I think we should constantly be having at least one atomic bomb at all times being built. I don't think we need more than one, though. Um, I think that, yeah, I feel like that's the strategy that we should go with. We should, we should focus a bit more on ooh, nuclear, power pl uh, nuclear plants. It's going to require some uranium, though. That's kind of unfortunate, but, man, it's a lot of extra production. That extra production is really nice. Okay, but no, we're going to go with another jet bomber. That'll probably be it for jet bombers because I'm building a lot of those. Uh, but hey, those jet bombers are good, man. Those jet bombers can they can attack from any part of our. We can reach any part of our empire, and uh, and they do some major major damage. Okay, so let's prepare ourselves. Uh, I don't exactly know when the war, uh, when the freedom nations, or I think it is it Germany or someone. I don't know when they're going to come upon us and ask, hey, you know, it's time to go to war uh, with Turkey. But we'll see. I don't want to pull things, I don't want to pull too many units over there for two reasons. One, I don't know where I'm going to nuke uh, Turkey at. And, and for another reason, I don't want Turkey to ask me, like, I don't want them to, like, you know, call my bluff here or whatever. I, I guess, I, I don't know. I don't want them to get an idea that I'm going to go to war with them and say, hey, are you going to go to war with me? Because I will lie, and I have to lie. Because Turkey, if they get the first move, they've got some units, and they'll mess me up. I'm not trying to get messed up right now. Uh, but we will, we will bring more artillery units this way. Actually, we'll be careful. Put, we'll pull you in Kiev. Okay, so let's take over North Korea. This should be not a problem. I don't think we got a fresh jet bomber there. These guys are not going to be fresh, but they're still going to be doing some pretty good damage. Uh, let's give you... Uh, I, I do really like operational range, but I, I really wanted to instant heal them. I know, I know, I know your guys' feelings on instant heal, but I just I love instant healing. It's so nice. Okay, so we're going to take this over. Let's give them interception because interception, most of those planes are going to be used for intercepting. When we, go to, when we go to war with a major power like China or the USA, uh, we won't be able to use the MIGs as much as, as we have been, for attacking at least is what I mean. 
Okay, so we got ourselves a great general. I love that because we can possibly... I'm thinking about stealing away some tiles. Uh, that's what I'm thinking. Especially because we could steal away some tiles from a city-state, and they're, they're not going to have any problem with that. Okay, but before... Hold on. Can't stop right there. Let's put, put another guy in there. Can I move anyone else on the coast of... Can I... No, no more on the Korean Peninsula. Okay, that's fine. I'm, I'll move a destroyer, maybe just to distract you a bit more so you don't attack my melee units. But that guy should be gone. Okay, so I... Do I have a general already? I don't... Yeah, I do. I do have one general. I do want to steal away... I, I'm thinking about stealing away some, some land here. But maybe it's... Yeah, you know, I, I'm going to hold on to these generals for now. I'm not going to... I'm going to hopefully not lose them. And uh, for now, we're not going to... We're not going to, you know, use them as their... Whatever, whatever that is. Citadel. I'm not going to steal away tiles. Uh, but ultimately, at some point, I'm going to want to... I'm going to want to do that. Steal away a bunch of tiles, maybe for some better strategical points when attacking NATO or whoever it may be. Um, yeah, so we'll see about that. Okay, so you made it there. Let's see what happens. Let's try to convert this. It looks like it will. Eastern Orthodox, yeah. So that'll give us some more money. It's improving our economy, too, so I like that. And uh, he should, yeah, I should be able to just move on, too. I can, I can move on to... Well, we need to kind of think smart about this, what cities I'm converting to Eastern Orthodox, because we want to obviously provide a lot of pressure on these nations so they don't just convert back to their original religion. Uh, so that's pretty important. Dang, you're still starving, man. Come on. I guess I, I should probably have you... Ah, oh, man, I love that you... Uh, yeah, you know, it's only an extra five turns. That's fine. You, you can stop starving for a second here. Just for one second. Okay, so what's going to go down? A little bit worried about taking over North Korea, but it shouldn't be. I shouldn't be. I mean, it's it's going to be fine. Could have to, I'm going to have to do it. Um, it's going to provide me a pretty good... It, it, it'll be a good distraction. It'll be a really good distraction if China is the one to initiate a war with me. They'll go after Pyongyang before they go after me. And, uh, oh, of course, Germany. Uh, they, they'll go... I mean, I guess that will be... That will still be me if I take the city over. But, I mean, like, I don't care about this city. They can take it over. That's fine. I don't want them to go after some of my big cities. So everyone is afraid of us. This is good. This is really, really good. So we have fear on our side. We can demand some things from these guys, but I, I don't think I'm going to. Uh, how much more nation? How many more nations are going to free? Uh, be afraid of us? We have Indonesia, Australia, and Mexico so far, afraid of us. I'm surprised that Barack Obama isn't friendly. I figured he would be, but he's he's not. He's got some warmongering concerns. But what's up with that? I've only I've only taken out one. Oh, you. Oh, we're fine. We're fine. He did attack the unit that he was supposed to, which is smart of the AI, but that, that was not enough. We'll still be able to walk in, I believe. And uh, this is going to be quite a bit of extra uranium. I should sell all the iron. I don't know why I'm keeping a hold of the iron. I should have sold that a long time ago. And I have enough faith to maybe purchase another Great Prophet. I might. We'll see how this, we'll see how this next Great Prophet does. We'll see how, how good he, he does here. Yeah, I do like science. Ooh, yeah, yeah. You know what? Get the, get the zoo. Get the zoo, because I, I don't know where my happiness is going to be at here. Okay, let's go after... Let's do a few more. Let's see. Actually, you know what? We can just probably attack with this one rocket artillery to bring it down to nothing, and then we'll be able to walk in. And boom, there goes North Korea. And boom, awesome. Okay, so we're going to create a puppet for now. He's going to be in resistance for, I believe, four turns. Here's some more oil, some more oil for, for us. Uh, Poland is following Eastern Orthodox. Now I can move in towards Germany. Germany, I don't believe, has any... They're not a founding. They're not a founder of religion. So what is Berlin following? Twenty four pressure. Uh, Twenty four pressure from Eastern Orthodox. Oh, 30, 36, Dang it. Okay. How about for Sweden? How you feeling, Sweden? Thirty six pressure. There we go. We need to convert Sweden. Yep. Let's let's go up and convert Sweden right now. Because we're pro pro providing the same amount of pressure, so that's good. And uh, we'll, we'll we'll switch over uh, the Scandinavian, the entire Scandinavian region to Eastern Orthodox. This actually might help us, too, maybe becoming allied to Poland at some point. Poland and Sweden. I'd love to be allied to both of them. Okay, so you guys did good. I think I'll probably transfer most of the uh, Air Force back, back to the West, to prepare us for the regional war with the Middle East. I don't know if it's going to be regional, but I'm just kind of assuming that it is. Uh, it might not. I mean, I'm hoping it, it won't. There we go. You guys all heal up. Perfect. And, um... I, I think I'm going to completely abandon the Korean Peninsula. We'll, we'll have most of our units protecting these cities because, again, I don't mind if the city gets taken. Well, you, you'll stay there for now. You guys go ahead and stay there for now. Let's promote a unit. Operational range. I just, you got to love it. You got to love that operational range. I don't have enough money to upgrade another artillery unit, so I, I won't. 
Hmm. Let's let's go one here. Just one more here. Not too much more. I know. I, I should be. Pl I need to be careful. Oh, we need to station our an artillery right here on this tile. We'll try to get there fast, but I don't know if we're we're going to be able to do that. Okay, so what happened? Uh, Pakistan is replaced. Oh, now Pakistan is an ally of Sweden. This is just, just the weirdest alliances Sweden is getting up. It's so strange. Kiev wants dies. A spy has fled. Okay, so we have a new spy. Now, I'm thinking about sending him. We don't... Oh, we definitely need him in Turkey. We... I don't think we need him in the capital. Let's put... I think let's send him to Istanbul. Right? Maybe. Yeah, I'm thinking let's send him to Istanbul for now. Istanbul is that canal city that I really want to utilize because if we get oh, if we get a hold of Istanbul, we control the ports uh, between the Black Sea and the Mediterranean, which is obviously a huge economic. That's a huge economic reason why I want to go to war with Turkey, uh, and I have wanted to go to war with Turkey, and now I actually have a reason to because they destroyed um, Israel. Most of the world's not happy, so I, I've I've had my eyes on on Istanbul for a while because it's the perfect canal city, and then boom, we can trade with so many other nations. We can we can go to uh, Egypt. We can go to Libya, we can go to Morocco, uh, obviously Italy, and, and well, we can't go to Spain, but we can go to France. I mean, technically, I think we have enough trade routes where we can go to Washington. We could trade with the, the capital of the U.S., uh, all, with the, all with just the sieging and taking of this one city. Uh, it gives us that opportunity. Uh, technically, we could probably go to the capital up here this way, maybe. But uh, it's just it's just going to open us a lot of opportunities. Mostly routes to Africa is is what I'm I'm looking for with uh, taking Istanbul here. So that's kind of why I'm very excited for it. Okay, so it's turn 31. Got to keep that in mind. I think we are going to be rigging elections soon. Can't wait for that. See how that goes. We're at 10 happiness. I've got a zoo being built in Kiev. Uh, Circus Maximus is going to be able to finish up soon. St. Petersburg's going to get us an atomic bomb. Not as powerful as the nuclear missiles, but they're still good. They're still good for attacking cities and taking away a lot of a lot of health from units nearby those cities. Obviously, the nuclear missiles are going to completely wipe out units, though, which is nice. Um, maybe I shouldn't even be dealing with atomic bombs. Maybe, maybe I should only be building nuclear missiles. Okay, so now you really want... Oh, that's great. That's awesome. Okay, so let's make sure that we get a hold of this. Oh, man, now Germany's afraid. This is good. This is exactly the way... This is where I wanted to go. Uh, and yes, I will say give us 10 turns. Because I'm pretty sure it was the USA that asked me to go first. Uh, oh, Al-Assad. Al you want me to go to war with Saudi Arabia? I, I'm sorry, buddy. I can't, though. Not right now. I'm not trying to get into that. Not yet. Saudi Arabia is, is... Are they trading with us or are they going around? Yep, they're going to Sweden. Oh, that's messed up, Saudi Arabia. Come on, man. Yes, thank you. Give us 10 turns. So we should be fine. And you know what? Look, we're getting even more friendships after taking over North Korea than anything else. And yeah, everyone's joined in on the bandwagon. They pretty much want me to do the dirty work. They they don't want to go to war with Turkey themselves. Well, they will. I'm pretty sure there, there's going to be... I think they all should join in. As long as I do it, they all should. Italy and Turkey are now friends. Okay, got to keep that in mind. Oh, wait a second. That's bad. Oh, jeez. Okay, so we're going to be at war with uh, Italy here. Okay, they're no longer allies. Oh, good. Oh, oh, wait, no, they're allies again. What the heck? We rigged a few elections. We could probably convert Italy, I think. Let's see. What, what do we got here? How successful was that? Uh, not bad. Not bad. I can. I could probably become friendly with them. Not yet, though. Oh, this looks like my economy is actually lowered a little bit. I. I really want to be allied to Kazakhstan. Kazakhstan would be an, an amazing alliance. Uh, but I don't have the money just yet. Okay, but we're gonna keep we're gonna keep all those spies continuing to convert these these city states close by. Well, maybe not here, man. We need forty three influence to surpass them. If I can get five hundred gold somehow, I need another two hundred and fifty. Because I'm, you know what? I might be able to go to India and get that two hundred and fifty and convert Italy right before we go to war uh, with Turkey. Yeah. So let's see. You definitely have the surplus. I don't need any of my iron. Do you want like all of it? Let's see here. Technically. For four, that should be 180 gold. I think for six, it'd be... Yeah, so six should... But then again, iron's not as important, so it degrades in, it with time. But let's see if we can get 270 out of, of, out of India. Okay, you want whales for it. I don't think we can come to agreement if that's the deal. I need my oil. You can have my embassy. I'll give you open borders if you want. Let's try that. Let's try... Let's first try to just do the embassy. And then I will give you my open borders. That's fine. I can also do defensive packs now, which is pretty cool. Um, 
Because especially with India, oh my gosh. Well, India does not have a really good front against China, but that would still really, that'd be really, really helpful. Uh, I, I will do that. You know what? I'm going to do that right now. I'm going to do that right now. That is the alliance that I wanted right there. Yes. I mean, India or China. That's what I was saying from episode one is India or China. I wanted to be friends with them because they would both be able to, I knew that they were going to be the, some of the, the scarier nations, I guess, on my continent. Um, geez, they're making so much money right now. Okay, so we have to come to a deal here. Come on, give me, I, I gotta, I, I'll give you all this iron. I'll give you a bunch more. You know what? I don't need any of it. I'll give you 10. I'll give you 10. All I want is 270 gold. Come on, 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 come on. I don't think we're going to come to a deal. Uh, I don't think it's going to happen. I mean, I guess I could, I, I can give it, I can give him all of it. And all I want is 250. Uh, this is probably the best deal I can give you. I give you all my iron, four open borders. All I want is, oh, not 150. I need 250. Propose. Ah, okay, it's not going to happen. Well, that's fine. We'll figure out something, but I don't know if it's going to be in time. I'm pretty sure next turn is when we have to uh, figure this whole situation out. Do we want to build the East Indian Company here? Must have built... I think I would rather have it in, in Moscow. East Indian Company. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Moscow, what's wrong with your production, man? This guy can build it... Oh, no, no, no. You can build... It takes you 12 turns. Okay, I think Moscow needs to build the East Indian Company. Get a little bit more routes. Uh, I don't think I want any of this stuff, except for a bomb shelter, but I keep putting that off, and that's scary, I know. But yeah, extra golds, must have markets built everywhere. We're building another National Wonder, which is ultimately going to give us happiness at some point whenever we get that tenant, so that's good too. Um, I am thinking about doing a little bit of science, a little bit of science buildings. We do need another battleship, absolutely. Absolutely here, okay. That's a good idea, I think. And we've ran out of oil, let's go with the mint. Extra happiness from the mint. And operational range. Okay, let's prepare ourselves because it's about to go down. Oh, whoa, I didn't even know that. Hotkey for uh, the tiles there is H. Okay, there's got to be somebody. Before I go to the next turn, I've got to find someone to give me... I'm not even asking for that much. I need 250. I pretty much need 250. You don't have the money. Okay, let's check in Indonesia and Australia. I'm pretty sure those are the other, uh, the other friends that I have up. Okay, Australia, you've got a bunch. You know, I can give you coal too. You know, we could probably come to a deal if I, if I, let's, let's just try it first though. Let's try it. Let's try to do this. Seven. Four gold per turn. I, I would, I would take out a loan. I would be willing to take out a loan for him if he, if he needs to. And actually I feel much less scared giving Australia open borders than someone like India. That was kind of worrying me a little bit. Look, I'll give you all my iron and two gold per, and, 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 and my coal, even my coal. Just for two, just just for this, just for two fifty, it's a good deal. Come on, man, Tony, are you serious? I'm not gonna be able to do it. Okay, well, whatever. I'm impatient, not doing it anymore. Turkey's no longer an ally. To, uh, yeah, they are. This, yes, they are. And we can maybe give him more operational range. Let's do that. Let's give him navy. Yeah, let's give him a, a combat, a uh, some extra strength against naval units. We're gonna keep you there. If this guy's healed up, yep. Let's take him back to the west. And everyone else that, actually, you go back this way. You're going to heal inside the city. Uh, did we finish the first year? We didn't, but, you know, we can go for railroads. Oh, we have actually plenty of coal all around here. We can use so much of this coal. And perfect timing. This cargo ship just finished up uh, just before we went to go went to war with Turkey. That That's great. I'm actually going to send them up towards this uh, northern coastal city. That way we can trade with some of the freedom nations. Uh, yeah, we did rig a few elections, which is good. And I believe a lot of our, a lot of our air force back east is still still healing, right? Yeah, so I'm not gonna I'm not gonna take them anywhere. I'm not gonna do it. Argentina is now al ally of of Kenya. And some more oil. Yes, here we go. You want furs? Uh, you know I'll do furs for silk. Come on, man. Okay, phone. Fine, fine. Phone. I, I just said phone. Uh, fine, China. We're not gonna do it then. We will not do it. I'm glad that he's still coming up to me and you know offering trade trade you know agreements and stuff like that. That's that's nice that he's doing that. But at the same time, if he's gonna be trying to jip me like that, then I don't even know. Okay, boom, here we go. Uh, this should start, or actually, it might be next turn. The AI sometimes declares, yeah, no, that's gonna be next turn. Japan's now afraid. Oh, this is so good, and now Japan's joining in. 
okay, so this is fine. Everyone's decided to join in. I think next turn they'll they'll ask me to go to war, and uh, I think we'll have free reign to take over everything. Of course, France. Here you go, buddy. Here you go. Wow, Turkey. You done goofed, man. You took over Israel. And that actually worked out really well for me. I'm so gl I'm so thankful that it was Turkey that took him over. Because if it was Saudi Arabia, I wouldn't be able to get to him. Uh, open borders, no, no open borders. Yeah, I can't. I, I I like I said, I was afraid of of taking the open borders agreement with it, or just giving them open borders like that beforehand. I'll I'll give Australia, I guess. I guess. I don't really know why or see why. No. Yeah, so everyone wants to, everyone, all freedom wants to go to war with the Middle East. And uh, that's kind of the plan right now. Again, this there's a lot of oil here. Got six sources here, four here, ten here. Jeez. Oh, my goodness. Oh, my goodness. That right there could probably make it help me defeat that. that Because I'm, I'm, I'm looking at oil for battleships, almost strictly battleships here. Um, and this this these resources will be able to help me build up a massive fleet to defend both the Pacific and the Atlantic Ocean away from the U.S. Uh, that's what I'm hoping for. Great musician. All right. All right, guys, I'm going to have to stop right there, though. Oh, and a great artist. Thank you guys so much for watching, and I will see you guys next time.